Hey, what's up guys? This is Vod Camera from Dreamlight. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at Sina HD, or Sina HD, Smile and HD Expression for Genesis 8 Female. And one of the things you wanna do if you wanna have a little bit more realistic renders is to actually use models that look great. Because it doesn't really matter how good you are at lighting, framing, and all that. If the model ain't good, it would not just produce the results you want. So one of the models that caught my attention was the Blue Giantis Cena HD model. So I've, uh, you know, quite impressed with all these settings. But really, what I want to do is just see how she performs inside that studio. So I'm gonna load her up. So inside that studio, you can locate her in desk formats, my desk library, people, Genesis 8 female characters and BJ Cena. All right, let me just double click there. Let me pause the video while this is loading. So once loaded, I'm gonna locate her here on the right side as well. Which is over here, BJ Cena. And then you have these morphs which you can apply to a Genesis 8 figure. We don't need to do that right now because we have already loaded her. So I'm just gonna go to materials and apply some of these settings. So we're gonna add eyelashes, eye color, and let's go to I got some lip options. Let me do add this one. I'm gonna grab this eye preview and teeth. I'm gonna look let me just drag this down, there we go. Uh, we're gonna have natural. So often when you have teeth, it's not good to use the ultra white, you know, preset. It's better to just use something more gray toned. That's gonna be like more natural for you. So here, if you go to parameters tab, there is also the actor sub tab and enter Cena. You've got then Cena HD details, which needs to be at 100% uh, in order for those details to show up, right? Now we're gonna grab some kind of clothing on her. So I'm gonna just go to clothing and enter one piece swimsuit. Let's load that and use the silver preset. There we go. I'm gonna go back to my model and enter or add a hair prop. All right, I'm gonna look for the new Hannah. Load that. And I'm gonna just enter a preset color for the hair, like a little bit more on the fun side, like blue. All right, so let me fire up IRA preview. Once this, this model is loaded, she feels rather quick, you know, on, um, on preview here. Doesn't really uh, make the preview very heavy, which is good. I'm going to switch into more vertical framing, active viewport, and I'm going to just see how she looks like. I'm going to be using the default render setting, which is this special map that loads by default. And I'm just pause the video waiting for this. All right, previews on. What I'm going to do is add a pose jar. So I'm going to go to poses, and I'm going to add elegant and essential. And I'm going to just add, throw in something like this. Select the model, throw in a pose. Excellent, and I wanna check out those expressions, right? So I'm gonna go to expressions, and uh, there we go. And we've got elegant and essential, and old fashion editorial is actually better. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of like classical laid back, this one over here. Just see how she looks. Let 
and you know always when checking out models it's a little more choppy here on the ivory preview but still okay and just get a little bit closer so we can see the quality and there we go All right, that's how she looks. She renders fairly slowly, so there is not like a huge, you know, super quick rendering here. Uh, could be the hair. Let me remove the hair just for a second to see if the hair is causing the render to go slowly. And it's not. The model itself takes a little while to render. And this is true for most HD models. They are a little bit higher quality and they just take a little bit longer to finish rendering. Uh, what I'm going to do is add the signature smile for her. I'm going to select her here, go to parameters and locate the pose controls. So she has a smile morph included, all right, that you can here apply. which I think looks gorgeous. That's truly amazing. Uh, very realistic, you know, smile with different um, pieces or portions of the face um, blending or, or morphing differently. I think this is just looks awesome. Very nice. I have to tell you the quality of this model is pretty amazing. I've been using, you know, in my library, I have like take a look at my runtime on just for Genesis 8 I've got a lot of characters right and I have a lot of characters for Genesis 3 female as well so throughout the years I've seen hundreds of models and this one looks very very good uh, highly realistic and also the teeth looks very good because sometimes like I said teeth can look very plastic and awkward right so the final test is going to be to just throw this soft lighting away and just do some harsh lighting like the environmental lighting and just see how it performs with that so let me just rotate it so we can see the light from the front and 200 Let's soften the light slightly, just like a sunshine. So I'm gonna be doing disc scale maybe at 20, so it's a little bit softer. And I'm gonna, you know, add now just a little bit of rotation here. I'm gonna soften the background, which is over here. We got horizon blur. Let's enter that. And I'm gonna just you know let this render here for a few seconds in this preview so that we can see how just how it looks uh, and so forth. So I'm gonna just pause the video for a moment. So this is how it looks after two and a half minutes of rendering, and it's very noisy, which means it renders rather slowly, but she looks absolutely killer, absolutely amazing. And one of the things I like about this is the shifts in the you know, skin. It's not just one color, it just shifts throughout the entire uh, skin, uh, which is very, very, very good in quality. So let me just cancel this, and I'm going to just zoom out and do a full figure render. Just see how she performs. And I'm going to do test from this angle. and make a render just to see how the skin looks like this should go a little bit quicker on the rendering because it's a full figure and most most of the scene is just empty but like i said it um it features very advanced shaders and skin settings so that it takes a while to render and if you're gonna be using 
H this particular HD model I would recommend you do full body renders and have something else besides the model in your view if you go really close on the face you're gonna end up with a really long rendering time and you know compared to a standard model this takes longer to finish there's just other settings that make the model more realistic but I mean she looks absolutely gorgeous um, so I would really recommend this product but you need to have a little bit patience with the rendering so the skin looks very very realistic I love all the details and all that it just looks amazing so guys that's pretty much it for the video thanks so much for watching keep having fun and I'll see you soon again